Hello again. The position in front of us requires White to give checkmate in three moves. What he's really trying to do here in this position is to deliver checkmate with a knight here if he can manage it or rook takes on a4. If he can manage to get a knight here it's quite useful because then should the second rank ever be blocked say by this pawn marching and the rook no longer has control over b2 then the knight would give check and also control b2. That's one of the ideas. That is an idea of blacks of course is to block the rook on the second rank which does have merit. Also an idea that black is keeping in mind is that should this bishop ever be unpinned he can give check here. Should the knight move after unpinning then he can give check there. So they are points to bear in mind. Can you see the, the key move here? Okay well the key move is knight b3 and the immediate threat here of course is knight to c5 and then there is no defence against rook a4. So how does black defend against that? Well he has five lines. The first one is knight to d7 where there's an immediate defence there. So what does white play here to get around that problem? Right, well, he plays here knight to a7. It's important that he plays to that square, not to this one, because if he played here intending to come around here and give mate, then it would be knight b6 covering the square. But here he's threatening checkmate and tries he might, moving the knight or the bishop, it makes no odds because there is no defence to that. If he takes this knight or moves away now that he's unpinned it makes no odds because this of course is check and will be double check. And you notice like I was saying earlier black is keeping in mind the possibility of checking. Now his knight's in the way here so although he's been unpinned he doesn't have the possibility of checking so that is out the question. So there was no defence to that next move. What else does black have with that knight? White has played knight b3, he's tried knight d7. What about knight e6? What is he wanting to do here? Well, similarly, he's wanting to stop knight c5 because the knight, as on d7, is controlling c5. So how does white play this? Does he play the same way knight a7? No, well he doesn't because if he played knight to a7 then the black knight would go here and stop the checkmate that way. So what does he do instead? He plays knight on c to a5 and now there is no defence to knight c4 because should the bishop move again he can't give check because the knight's in the way. And it's going to be double check on the next move. So there's no defence to it. So those are the two knight moves out the way. <coughs> right, so what else is there? Well, try bishop d8 or indeed any bishop move down here. Should the bishop move this way, then of course it will be knight c4 followed by rook a4. So bishop moving down the a1 to h8 diagonal does no good. But try this, this is a useful attempt. And now should white try any of the moves down to the a line, the bishop can either take the knight off should it go here, or should it go here it can interpose. And so there is nothing to be gained from that whatsoever. Also what must be noted is should he play like this he's unpinning and he'd be able to give check. That's another reason. Should he do it with the other knight? The same rule obtains. So you have to be very careful here with bishop d8 and I was. All that you need to do is to take this pawn off. If you notice with him moving away from the protection 
of this E5 square, which not just on D8, but E7, G5 is protecting it. But for the same reason as down here, it would be knight c4 and rook a4. Should he move to here, then there's no defense of this pawn. And on the next move, it's knight c4. So that would be checkmate. And there's no defense to that at all. So that's three variations out the way. Knight d7, knight e6, and bishop d8, or two other squares. So what else is there for black in this position? Just bearing in mind that he can move none of this. So by a process of elimination, it has to be these two pawns. What happens if he plays here? Well, as already discussed, it is knight c5, and then it's followed by rook a4 checkmate. There's no defense to it. And what about f3? That's the final variation. Does this cause any problems for white at all? Just take a look at that position. <laughs> Just bear in mind that if white were to move here, he's unpinning the bishop, so the bishop would be able to come here and give check. So that immediately is out of the question. Otherwise, that, that would suffice for, for checkmate on the next move. So well done to those who have spotted it. It is this knight this time because what we're doing here is we're preparing knight c4 mate. The knight is in the way, stopping black giving check on d7. But notice if he comes here now, his own pawn is in the way. And so, on the next move, that is checkmate. Isn't that a terrific problem? And I hope that you gain something from the ideas that have been presented in that problem. Thanks very much for watching, and goodbye for now.